Good afternoon, everybody. Once again, it's Matt Croissant over here at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. Getting you some information on this pre-owned 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Lone Star Edition. Now, I usually do that accent through the entire truck video, but um, I'm good this time. So let's just go ahead and get it going. All right, so up front, we've got some nice large halogen headlights, fog lights, nice front tow hooks. We've got front parking sensors going along here too. The Lone Star, I'm sure, is what's providing these nice large chrome wheels. These are 20 inch. You can see it's got a beautiful fresh set of tires on here. Still got the feelers on the side right there because we service and recondition and maintain every single vehicle that comes our way that we plan to retail. We wanna make sure it's as nice as possible for our customers. 1500 has the Hemi 5.7 liter. And I believe this is paired up to a seven or eight speed automatic. Just wanna check real quick for you guys. That is an eight speed automatic on here. This is four wheel drive as well. So we've got turn indicators on our mirrors here. Nice color matched mirrors too. Not a lot of chrome on here, just the wheels. We've got some nice running boards down below. We've got the standard size bed. Looks like a power sliding rear glass with a heated back glass and privacy glass on the rest of your rear windows here. Wrapping around, we've got rear parking sensors. We've got a tow package with a two inch receiver, seven pin and four pin connection with a backup camera right here too. Let's go ahead and check out the bed real quick while we're back here. Lowers down, nice and easy. Lifts up, nice and easy too. Got the big old ram on there. If anybody appreciates uh, some Tony Baker comedy that just makes me want to say cram. All right. Wrapping around here, this is in the beautiful Billet Silver, which is on every single Mopar product you can find in the world. They just won't stop making it. I tell you what. So, we're gonna go ahead and hop inside here, check it out. Got a nice little blind spot mirror here. Uh, this is heated as well as auto dimming just on the driver's side. It looks like I'm peeking at the passenger mirror and it is not the same. I apologize for the pollen on here, but don't worry. You're going to get a full tank of gas with this guzzler and a free detail with your purchase. We've got a cloth interior on here with uh, looks like some leather appointments on the steering wheel, power locks, windows, and mirrors. Those are power folding mirrors, just so you know. How's it going, guys? You can fold those out. Oh, man, I'm getting sweat in my eyes. We got to finish this video, y'all. All right, I'm struggling now. Uh, front two windows are automatic. We've got tons of storage in the doors. Cup and bottle holder combo. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Ram! Ram! We've got a 12-way adjustable power driver seat here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 with the power up-down lumbar support. And before we hop in, we've got a decent amount of controls here on the left side of the dash. Automatic headlights, looks like we've got some uh, cargo or puddle light control right here for the bed, fog light control, electric parking brake, dash illumination control, and we've got some adjustable foot pedals here. See those moving in or out, so you can really get your comfort and uh, drivability dialed in here. Okay, go ahead and use our handy dandy running board to step up into the truck, makes it nice and easy. Next thing we'll do is we're gonna get our climate control adjusted to an acceptable temperature and hopefully that turns it down a little bit if not that's okay hold on we'll go a little bit higher nope it, it knows it's hot as hell right now this truck thinks it's 98 degrees out so here's what we're gonna do it's not though so we're just gonna turn it down don't worry guys I'm, I'm alive we're gonna be okay don't worry don't worry don't worry it's gonna be okay Little salesman's gonna just bake. All right, so on the steering wheel, which again is leather wrapped, we can unlock it from over here to get started. We can telescope this inward so it's not so close to us. We can also tilt it up and down if we need to. Ram! <laughs> All right, so 
On the left hand side, we've got this directional pad with an OK button. It's going to control our drive display. Let's go ahead and dig in here. So on the display, we've got some analog uh, gauges to the left and right. And then here we've got cardinal direction, ambient temperature, uh, battery charging, which is always nice to know, as well as our oil temperature too. On this screen, we can see, of course, our digital speedo, the fuel range, drive selection, and odometer here. So. Um, just the speedometer on this screen. Next, we've got vehicle info. We can check out our tire pressure. There's going to be a lot of gauges in here that we can check out to make sure everything's going proper with this truck. Especially, you know, if you're in a towing situation, you want to make sure everything's running properly and at the right temperature. Transmission temperature, especially oil temp, oil pressure, um, oil life is at zero. How can that be? Because we have just done the oil change. So sometimes these things don't get reset. Uh, engine must be off with ignition and run. So um, we're just gonna move past this for now, but just know that everything you see isn't always true. Isn't that right, folks? Because we've just completed the oil change on this vehicle. Uh, next service is at around 80,000 miles or um, in October, whichever comes first is what we recommend here. But of course, if you're a truck man, you just you handle it yourself, partner, you know what I'm saying? All right, moving on here, you can also check an ammeter for that battery charging to get more specific information. 14.4 is more than satisfactory. Looks like a digital speedo pops up up top there if we're on one of these screens. And then, nice, uh, gauge summary. That's, that's very handy. I like this, I like information. Uh, last screen here shows, oh, nice, idling hours on the engine driving hours and the total amount i love how specific this gets you know this is a lot of great information especially if you guys are checking out this video here uh, next we've got fuel economy information right now it's saying 14.6 i imagine it could get a little bit better uh, if this vehicle weren't sitting here idling like it is for my demonstration this is i'm sure for trip a and trip b here trip info Yep, this is exactly the same, so that's gonna show the same data on those previous gauges. You've got media information, and I imagine, yes, because this is a Mopar product, we've got um, volume controls over here, or these are tracking presets, and then on the opposite side, again, we've got adjustment over here for the vice versa there. Moving down, any messages? It says we need an oil change, but we already figured that out, right? Screen setup, we can go in here and really dial things in, and then we're back to the main screen here. So tons of great information in here, y'all. Uh, over here, we've also got voice recognition and Bluetooth controls. On the right-hand side of the vehicle, we've got cruise control options right here. Uh, looks like we have maybe some manual shifting capability right here on screen uh, or on the wheel. Gear limit. I wonder what that does. Um, drop something in the comments about this one, guys. This is an interesting feature, and I assume it's something that only really works while we're driving, okay? So, um, done with the steering wheel area. Of course, we've got push to start. We'll go over the shifter in just a second. Uh, real quick, I want us to look up above. Check out the interior lighting. Looks like we've got a nice pilot light for nighttime to emit some light uh, down onto the center console area and the dash. Uh, we have our dome lights, turn everything on, the door light. We've got our power sliding rear window right here. Love that. Just hold that to close, pop this open. We've got a nice uh, sunglass holder. Looks like an auto dimming rear view mirror right here. So very nice, I like that, it's almost borderless. Looks good. Uh, down here, we've got some nice storage, a 12 volt outlet up top right there. And then moving down, we've got these nice large vents and the uh, very well-known, super awesome Dodge Ram Mopar Super Cool Entertainment Center. So um, we've got some nice shortcuts down here. You can see I was in the climate area getting this dialed in, but we've also got access to our radio, media, climate. You connect apps where you can uh, turn on the backup camera at any time, adjust your heated seating and your heated wheel, which is available on this vehicle, adjust the mirror dimmer, compass, all kinds of settings in here that you can really go through and dial in. Again, we've got controls right here for most everything I just mentioned, three-step heated seating up front here. And then down below, 
Uh, we've got analog controls for most of what I talked about. We can mute, turn the screen off, always tap it to turn it back on. Again, those three-step heated seats, heated wheel, our automatic dual climate temperature control right here. And then to the left, we've got our digital shifter. So we've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Let's go ahead and check out that backup camera. Super high def camera right here. As you can see, clear view of the bumper. Uh, we can zoom in if we need to look straight down when we're trying to hook up. Um, center line right here as well. These left and right hand lines represent the true sides of the ram right here so um, if i were trying to back into this parking spot perfectly you can see if i cut the wheel back i may be able to make it in there and then need to straighten out but uh, how this works is as long as nothing is getting close to these sidelines or in between them you theoretically shouldn't impact with anything but make sure you're using these handy dandy mirrors to make sure and double check but that's how that technology works just so you know okay very nice camera for sure uh, we've got our four-wheel drive or just driveline selector. You can keep it in four-wheel drive auto, two-wheel drive, four high, four low. Um, it'll let you know if you need to shift the vehicle into neutral to engage one of these, typically just the four low. Um, it's got downhill angle control right here. So um, this is great if you're flying downhill. Um, it'll do some engine braking instead of uh, just having you rely on your pads and rotors, soaking them up with heat and making them a little more ineffective in case you actually need to use them in a more dire situation. Uh, you got this axle lock right here, so you can lock the rear axle if you need to. That's awesome with that differential right there, nice little diff lock. Very cool, lots of cool features in this truck. Very well equipped, like what I'm seeing. Trash control right here, tow mode right here, front and rear parking sensor control, and down in the power center, we've got two type C and two type B USB ports, which I'm sure on this new vehicle will also provide you with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, along with an auxiliary port, some storage right here. Looks like this just needs to be pressed into place. Yeah, there we go, here we go. More storage right here. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Notepad, standard. Uh, lots of space that means that just that keeps going underneath there we've got a power inverter that was hiding in here so you can get some real juice out of the vehicle Wow slide this forward storage up here coin holders cup holders remote start on the key fob right there center console you got a nice upper level area with another type B USB port right here with cable routing included lift this on up and then we've got access to the rest of our center console here. God dang. There's a max fill line for you. Man, love the utilization right here. And what the, man, you got everything under here. Jeez, oh my gosh. Trigonometric ratios. These guys are on something here. God. A couple rear cup holders too. Um, over here, let's just, oh my gosh, storage. Lockable storage with the owner's manuals and the window sticker. Sadly, crumpled up in there. Rip. Um, up above, last but not least, we got our handy dandy visors with some Homelink garage controls. We got a nice little clip right here. This is mirrored. It's lit. Another clip right here. This is telescopic, so it'll reach the full length of the window for you. And a couple microphones as well for your Bluetooth. All over. Love it. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off, save some fuel for a little bit, check out the rest of the truck. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And, oh, more storage, let's go. All right. Checking out the massive back of the cab here. We've got tons more storage and bottle holders in the doors, cargo bags back here, more storage, ventilation, we already talked about the cup holders. Two more pairs of Type-C and B USB ports. Another power inverter too. Man, we've got all the floor mats back here, the cloth mats. You got these nice little storage boxes underneath here too. Uh, looks like these are removable and completely sealed. Even more measuring devices in here. God dang, who the... Interesting, but anyways, um, you can put some ice in here. These are some little coolers in the truck if you need to, you know. 
Get some cans of your favorite drink in here if you want. This is completely removable, just so you know. You can just pull the whole thing out if you need to dump it out too. Heavy duty. Then we've got seating for three back here. A little bit more visibility if you need it. Uh, these rear seats, I'm sure. Let's see with this pull tab here, nope. I don't know if that's moving, but you can definitely lift it up right here and even more utility underneath here. A couple bag hooks so you can hang some items off of here, keep them from rolling around. And I mean, just check out the storage space. I might buy this truck. Just kidding, I'm not a truck guy. Armrest, bottle holders back here, lighting, hooks, raised roofs for headspace back here too. Looks like more microphones airbags i mean you name it ram 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 all right and uh that's it we've already checked out the bed really so uh, we'll take another peek at it though i don't think i uh, noticed any lighting back here nope not on this model that's where it would be located but uh that's a nice and light tailgate too for sure so uh, thanks again guys I really do appreciate your time I uh, hope you had some fun with this one I know I did make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family leave a comment if you have any compliments questions or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your information and shopping needs I say shopping, yes, because this truck is for sale. And there is a link down below in the description directly to the display page on our website so you can get even more information about this Ram and inquire if you're interested. Thanks again, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri. Hope you're having an awesome day.